In the courtroom, Greiner listened as the judge handed down her sentence. Nine years imprisonment and a fine of some $16,000. Earlier, Greiner told the court she had no intention of breaking any Russian law. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. The Biden administration remains adamant that Greiner was wrongfully detained, and the president immediately released a statement after the judgment saying, it's unacceptable, and I call on Russia to release her immediately so she can be with her wife, loved ones, friends, and teammates. Negotiations are underway to secure Greiner's release and that of another American citizen who the U.S. says is being wrongfully detained in Russia, Paul Whelan. We have made a serious proposal uh, to, to the Russians uh, to try to get Brittany and Paul Whelan, who is also wrongfully detained, home where they belong. Uh, and we urge the Russians again to, to seriously consider that proposal, uh, to act on it, uh, and let's get these two Americans home where they belong. This is a Russian being held in the U.S. who could be part of the exchange. Victor Bout is serving a 25-year sentence for arms smuggling and supplying weapons to Colombia's FARC movement, which is classified by the U.S. as a terrorist organization. The Russian government has been reluctant to comment. We still think that any information exchanges on this theme should be discreet. Megaphone diplomacy, street exchange of views won't lead to the result. We're at a time in a history where the U.S. and Russia have very bad relations. That doesn't help. But even in spite of that, in May, there was a prisoner swap between the U.S. and Russia, where Trevor Reed, who was held in Russia, was brought home in exchange for a Ru Russian prisoner. So there's precedent for it happening, and I think it will happen here, too. Brittany Greiner is led away to begin her sentence with a message for those waiting at home. I love my family. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.